Wiemer's um, strapped down as a cleat behind the behind the transom there, and then just a, a rope just ties down to the thwart. Seems to work fine. That rope also reads through a, an eye, so I can um, turn her over single-handed on board. It's the famous winch, and um, that's what it's like under Wiemer. A wonderful galvanised bucket. The uh, warp for the kedge anchor. Two uh, orange lines there for clearing the limber holes in the bilge. The handle for the for the um, bilge pump, and another anchor stowed there. Wind's freed a bit. I can luff up. I want to get close in shore. The tide's going to turn in half an hour, and. Uh, the more closer I can get in shore, the better. Try and cheat it. It's also to windward, of course, as well. While I'm filming, I can't concentrate on sailing. These old wooden blocks came with the boat. Scraped them down, gave them a bit of varnish. One of these days, I've got to uh, renew the wire they're made from a single strand twisted about a metre long of approximately one millimetre wire twisted round and round to form a strop then it's parcel served and um, rather high on friction but they're rather nice old blocks they're um, Ex Navy, I think they're stamped WD with a WD arrow, um, marked 93 and 83. The Yankee jibs set very high. Uh, because it needs uh, the sheet, really, led, um, led further aft. So it's a compromise, second hand sails. There's we Emma. Not many tenders have got portholes means I can stand up in my bunk and uh, peek out and check anchor bearings <laughs> 